Hello, hello, and welcome back to Dream Queen. Um, Perla here. Any questions as to what it is that I do? How do I do it? How do I get the songs? Um, people that I work with, um, channel that I suggest, and um, people that I follow, along with people that I'm affiliated with, um, is down below in the description. I wonder if this is low, um, high enough. I've been recording them um, on a low volume, <laughs> not on purpose but just been happening. So um, today's um, <laughs> energy, um, and I'm not exactly sure who's there yet, um, but this is where we're going, um, I guess, for those that are not there yet. Um, <laughs> it's a little immature. Um, per, um, the song is Poker Face by Lady Gaga. Um, no, he can't, so it's like the verse is like, no, he can't read my poker face. And then it's like, you know how in parentheses it says like, she got me like nobody. Um, uh, yes, I am wearing a big ass yellow mustardish, whatever color hoodie. I am not cold. Um, I got this little mouse. I want to show you. It's so cute. It says um, party like a pineapple, which is kind of funny because I love um, pineapples like my favorite fruit. But um, it's not because I'm freezing because it's actually quite beautiful out. Um, I just don't feel like wearing a bra. And again, like why my face that still looks it looks like worse um on camera but it's actually not that bad anyways <laughs> um nor here nor there um so yeah um so you guys you guys were wondering no i'm not freezing i'm not sick or anything like that i just uh, i want to party like a pineapple in my house while i'm listening to music while everybody's out of the house um and i don't feel like wearing a bra <laughs> so as soon as i get off the off of this i'm gonna go ahead and poof Go back to my tank top. Anyways, um, enough of that. <laughs> um, so I was I was like, okay, what should I do? Because I kind of like feel everybody's um energy, like kind of like anxious and kind of like um anticipating. Um, some are anxious because they're really not sure what's going on. Others are anticipating um either the worst or the you know like just because of everything that has been going on and not. <clears throat> not knowing how to handle it um, or not knowing how to perceive things that are currently happening. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to do a quick video and see where um, the Divine Masculine energy is in, refers, in reference to his um, DF um, and where the DF's energy is in reference of to her Divine Masculine. So I was looking for my um, normal lip color, which is the perception, because I always say, you know, it really depends on the perception. So um, I really love that lip color and I can't find it. So um, I have bought another one a few, um, probably like about a week or two ago. And I really didn't, it really didn't feel like me. It felt too immature, which is actually what I'm wearing. Um, <laughs> don't mind me. I'm like out there. Um, and it's funny because when I got it, I got it because of, I like the way the color looks, right? But the color, the name of the color is, where is it? Kiss Me, You Fool. So I guess that when I put it on today is um, the exact um, <laughs> color I was supposed to be wearing because, um, again, the energies feel very um, immature. As far as like two people um, playing hard to get with each other, um when in all honesty all they want to do is be with each other um if that makes any sense so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go see what the water has for us today all right let me stop oh uh, you guys are driving me crazy 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 um, I'm not sure. I kind of have this urge to want to go live later, but as always, I don't like to plan certain things because I'm, <laughs> you know, mm, mm, people um, get mad. <laughs> I don't know why, <laughs> uh, because it's not when I want to, it's when um, it wants to come out. Um, so we'll see. So just stay tuned. And if I do decide to go live, I usually post it about 20 minutes or so before. Um, I kind of have an idea of what it is that wants to be um, shared with everybody. But um, I just like my lights, like my face in this life. Ooh. But um, <laughs> anyways, um, I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Cause like I said, um, tomorrow, I don't know if I said it, tomorrow is my second oldest. He's turning 10. Um, and 
so we're kind of getting ready for tomorrow so that we can celebrate with him um he's he's our second bundle of joy and he is also um the most challenging when it comes to authority um um so you know we gotta get everything ready for him tomorrow so you know we'll see if i can get everything i want to get done in time um then i'll probably go live it's a couple of things i want to talk about um and yes i'll do a little reading um as well and we'll see okay let's see what everybody wants to say <sighs> Um, as with everything and everything that I always say is, um, we need to always go back to ourselves, to our intuition when it comes to getting an understanding of what's going on, um, and why things are happening. Um, a lot of people, um, are in this place of wanting to give up on the journey um and with that being said is um you can't give up on a journey when it's the the priority or the main focus of a journey is not another person but it's as far as healing yourself and getting yourself to that place of self-love and that place of um inner fulfillment so that when you come together either with your person or if you choose um to go with a you know with a soulmate or whatever you are not going into um a relationship or a union for the need of someone else's love but more to co to come together with somebody that is already in that energy of self-love and self-acceptance of themselves completely so that when the two of you are together you can build and create something even more beautiful. Um, if you're still stuck on those energies that, well, I just want my person, then there is still healing and there's still an understanding, not an understanding of the journey itself, but an understanding as to yourself, as to why do you still feel that you need someone else to complete you? Yes, the feeling of longing and things like that are always going to be there. But that is the reason why we should always go inward and look at ourselves and see where it is that we need to fill that area in ourselves so that in an essence, it helps our counterpartner, whether you are the DF or the DM. And I feel that this is for both of you. Um, when it comes to um, the Divine Masculine, um, and if you are a Divine Masculine, um, and I'm not sure if you're willing to um, share about this or not, or if you have experienced it yourself in the past or not, when the soul is ready to move, um, to push through, to come through, and to start... Um, allowing the person to live from their soul one of two things usually happen if this is a person if the divine masculine is a person that sleeps around to try to um fill that hole or to feel that need or to um make himself feel more macho or whatever usually uh, when it comes to the root chakra. So when we start to think about the root chakra, that is usually the reproductive systems along with other things, but we're gonna stick with the reproductive system. System. So what starts to happen is the, the soul in an essence is not going to allow the body itself to enjoy sex with other people. Um, why? Because it's trying to purge all the pain and all the hurt from other females that he has been in contact with. 
to um, eventually, if the person continues to um, enact in those actions and does not want to stop, then what starts to happen is physically they'll start to um, have physical problems, meaning um, a lot of males will start with um, UTIs. Um, they will start literally not being able to perform or not being able to get hard. Again, this is an adult channel. If you don't want to hear it, you don't want to hear it. So then what starts to happen with the feminine is as her person is going through this, um, one or two things can happen. Either you're, if you know that you are lying, you know that you have healed those parts and you have learned and have an, an understanding when it comes to sexual energies, um, then you will start to feel not all, but some of you, it really depends on how connected you are with yourself and with your person at that level. Um, you can start to feel like either your menstrual cycle is going out of control or you start to feel um, certain root chakra um, issues when it comes to your reproductive. So meaning you're cramping more, your period is coming more frequent or anything to get your attention to that reproductive system. So when we talk about how our body literally expresses um, everything that um, <clears throat> that is emotionally um, either trying to be purged or trying to heal, it really does. And we have to get to, the, um, to that point where we are taking a step back and analyzing ourselves, okay, what is going on? And that is mainly more for the uh, masculines out there be and then i mean if you're a df and you decided that you because your masculine was sleeping around you chose to do the same thing um it could be that you're going to start feeling the symptoms and then they start following after you or vice versa but the whole point is like you know and i'm not talking um out of my ass like people think sometimes um i have actually had conversations with um family members that are male i have also had this conversation with um dm as well and many other males when we talk about um sexual energies and how it actually starts to affect you when you are trying to force your physical body into having sex um because that's what it is your sex your sex is fucking it's not um anything more than that there is no um actual um emotional connection to the person so what is happening is that your soul in an essence to get you to stop then gets to a point where it's not allowing you to function correctly and then you'll start going to the doctors like what the heck is going on i need the what is a viagra or whatever it is and it's like no sweetie it has nothing to do with the physical anatomy itself it has to do with where you're putting it in um because your soul is already ready to allow you to live from it. So in an essence, it does not want to carry on on itself other people's hurt and pain, if that makes any sense. I know I'm gonna lose like half of you, but it's all right, you'll catch up. Um, <laughs> and it's like, you know, when it comes to, um, <laughs> So funny because it's like that's all I keep seeing is like the sexual component when it comes to the masculine and it's like sweetie if it is happening then take some time and just heal yourself like heal your body um we really have to start being a little bit more careful of who we jump into bed with um anyways I kind of want to move away from the subject already um I want to know where the DFs are at um <sighs> Divine masculines right now are really, um, they're really, 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 really in this place of, um, and it really depends where, where they are and where you are, um, as far as your healing journey. But those that, um, are experiencing those symptoms already or are starting to are trying to look for an alternative reason as to why it's happening because they have either gone to the doctors and they're not getting the correct answer so there's nothing wrong is what they're being told so they're starting to look into um more of like the spirituality or the emotional connection when it comes to sex and things like that um so they're moving away from more of the logical thing and going more into their heart space now there is a, a small group of um divine masculines that and, and i don't like and I say small because of the simple fact that a lot of people f seem to believe that the masculines have not been 
awaken or that there's not enough. When in reality, in my personal opinion, there are a lot of masculines that are awakened. It is just they don't vocalize it as much either because their DFs is not or whatever the reason is. But anyways, um, the group of masculines that have been awakened, and I'm talking about they have been awakened not for like six months or something like that. We're talking about like a year or two. And they are aware of who they are. And those masculines um, have already gone through this process, have already gone through all of that. And in an essence are just waiting for their DF to not so much to wake up, but to accept. Because even though we have always been told that the DFs are always the ones that wake up first, um, it is not always um, the truth. And in essence, okay, let's, be, let's make it this way. Um, and this is why I need to make that video about the energy thing. It really depends on, okay, if we talk about the body, right? Like, you know, we have a female and a male, or you can have a male and a male, and female and female, it doesn't really matter. We both, each of us embody the masculine and the feminine energy at the same time, right? So when the awakening is going to happen, it is going to happen on whomever of the two, whether you are female or male, or you know, both male, whatever, is embodying that feminine energy at the time the most the person that decided at the moment to deal with their pain and to deal with their emotions does that mean that if there is a man that is awakened um he is a divine feminine no it just my before people start jumping on me this is my perception of this of it and i'll make a video <laughs> explaining exactly why i feel this way um the the reason is that man the physical body man decided at that point to embrace and harness the feminine energy as a like over his masculine energy and therefore was able to awaken before the female avatar that was more in her masculine energy but once he awakened and rose up or whatever then he is back to his balance and he still is still in in his um, authority or claim of his divine masculine name. And again, um, things just come, so I just gotta say them as they come because, um, I don't know, they just gotta come. So um, anyways, those masculine that awaken when they were in those feminine energies themselves um, are just waiting for their person, their divine feminine, to really allow that part of themselves to come out. All right, I'm not sure. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. That's what wanted to come out. That's, that's what's going to come out. Um, so, when... Um, when whomever is deciding to suppress or is deciding to... Um, wants to go back to sleep because I feel like some really want to go back to sleep. Like, screw this. I just want to go back to sleep. I don't want to know none of this. Um, when they uh, really come into the full acceptance, um, then um, they're going to be able to move swiftly. What do I mean by that? Um, they're not just experiencing it um, sexually, they're experiencing it in their dreams. So if whoever's watching me is experiencing certain dreams and certain things, um, just know that it is not, they're probably not yours, you're probably um, having an interpretation of your person's dreams as well. If you know, we have talked about this, about your person, you know, constantly thinking about you and then you start thinking about them like nonstop. And I do believe, and I've done it, where you can just be like, you know what? Okay, I get it. Shh, that's it. You're done. Get out of my head. And um, we go back and forth with that because he hates it when I do that because when I do that, then um, his days don't go as swiftly at work. His days don't go. It's, it's a little harder for him to... Um, get to like a day today if that makes any sense but uh it is also not my job to um to fix things for him he has to be able to um with the tools that i give him 
the same way that I give all of you guys. Um, he has to be able to, at one point or another, um, step up and be who he is supposed to be. Um, when it comes to, you know, whether work or um, dealing with, like, you know, his his family, like, you know, sisters or brothers or dealing with colleagues or dealing with friends and things like that, I cannot always have the answers for him. I have to allow him to come to that understanding of whatever it is, whatever dynamic it is. Um, of course, those that are close to me, um, family members and things like that, sometimes people feel like they, they, that they have an advantage um, over everybody else and they really don't because the same way that I send you guys back your emails or the same way that I speak to you guys or text you guys is the same way that I do it with my family. So. There is no preference here. I want everybody to get to that point of being healed and everybody to get to that point of just really being in that self-love and that self-acceptance. Um, so the number one thing that everybody kind of has to do is um, stop playing the games of um, shutting off your emotions and um, trying to um, treat love in general as uh i'm just gonna move this a little because the candle is like really in my face um so i'm trying to treat love as a game because it is not a game um unconditional love is really it's not about you don't give it expecting anything in return so um and then that, that's a hard thing, especially when you start dabbing into the unconditional love at first, when you really start living from that and people are not giving it back. Um, during the beginning of the process, you're always like, oh, F this, why am I going to bother when people, and it's like, then you really haven't gotten that really, like that real understanding of what unconditional love is. Um, we give freely, meaning we give everything of ourselves freely, freely. But then, following your intuition, you're able to know when to set certain boundaries. Um, so it's like that's something that I had to work on when it comes to um, boundaries, because of who I've always been, ever since like as long as I can remember. Like you know, a lot of people can tell you like, oh yeah, she was a B-I-T-C-H or whatever, but whenever anybody needed anybody on their corner, when anybody needed somebody like to have their back or whatever it was, I was always there for anybody. I didn't care. Um, but when it comes to people referring to me um, as a bitch, it was because of the boundaries that I set. Um, because I can love you and I can pray for you and I can do all of these things. But if you're not learning and you're not getting to a point where you're owning who you are, then I have no business in um, staying within those energies. Because in an essence, all I am doing is enabling you to continue on doing the same things. And that's not going to work and it's not going to flow because that's not what I'm here for. I'm not here to get you to depend on me I'm not here to get you to um, expect me to have the answers for you if my kids 14 soon to be 10 tomorrow and two nine-year-olds um, don't get answers for me when they come and ask me what does um, I'm thinking of a word I can't even think um, believe what does believe mean um, you got a dictionary there's a computer there's a tablet Go look for it so if I have raised my children to go out there and independently look for the answers themselves then why am I going to take the responsibility of a grown-ass person whether you're my sister my mother my father whomever and give you the answers that if you were to slow down a little and go within yourself, you yourself can find those answers. Now, I I get I get the point that because of the way we were raised and because of the way um you know society and this and this and that, it makes it a little harder to tap into your intuition and to listen to your own inner voice. So then. What I've decided to do, and it's what I've been doing, and it's actually quite beautiful because we're not even done with the first week. And people, the nine people that I'm working with are are catching themselves. Um, 
either saying certain things, but then it's like, oh, shoot, is there, oh, oh. And they're having like aha moments, like back to back during the growth movement. And to me, that is beautiful because I am not giving them the answers. All I am doing is giving them tools, tools, and specifically telling them, this is what I did, but now you have to do what your voice is telling you to do. And there is ways that you can phrase things and you can um, rephrase what people are asking you um, or what people want clarity on in a way to get them to realize or receive their own answer. I don't know if that makes any sense. And I went completely off topic. Um, let's see what is crowning this reading. Queen of Swords in the reverse. So um, that is either both of you or one of you um, wanting to stop with either. I feel like um, when it comes to both of you, this is um, finally putting that that sword away and finally um, just accepting everything in its totality, meaning um, accepting that they're your person and accepting whether they are with somebody else or not and accepting the um the actual journey which is to go inward and to grow within yourself first um and i feel that that is happening simultaneously for both of you we have justice in the reverse and death in the reverse so it was either one or both of you was deciding to um, get justice in another relationship um, because, but the funny thing is like you were trying to get justice um, by following, um, wanting to be with somebody else or wanting to be in another relationship. But what ended up happening was um, This is the connection between the two of you, death and the reverse. Why? Because this is not something that neither of you can break. It is not something that neither of you can cut. It is not something that neither of you can walk away from in its entirety. And that is the, um, the understanding that one has to get to. Um, just because some choose not to be with their person does not mean that that connection is broken or that the cord has been completely cut. It is the acceptance of, you know what, that is my person, I am their person but I am happy here and they're happy there. So you get to a point where all you really want, when you honestly and truly unconditionally love somebody, you want them to be happy because if they're happy, you are happy. And if they're miserable or if they're sad or they're angry or whatever it is, then you, in an essence, start to feel the same thing. So the reason why neither of you receive justice, either, whether it was you or him or her or whatever, that decided to walk away was because the only reason why either of you were walking away was either because things were not going as you wanted them or your person wasn't coming towards you or because um, your person chose another person. And in an essence, that is what um, got you into that energy of um, not wanting to, to give to this connection, which is the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Now... And it's like this, okay, if you don't, if you don't treat yourself and you don't speak to yourself um, the way you want others to do it, then how can you expect other people to treat you and speak to you the way that you feel that you deserve to be spoken to and treated? Um, if you don't set the boundaries and if you don't lead by your own examples, um, then you, in an essence, cannot um, blame. Either way, you can't blame anybody, but you'll get there one day. Um, no one, no one no one outside of you has the power to make you feel anyway unless you willingly give that person the power
the Hierophant in the reverse. This to me is um, a person, whether you wanna say it's your DM or yourself, but this is a person that is continually um, getting the signals, getting the signs, getting the dreams, getting the um, intuitive messages, getting everything put right there in the freaking face, but choosing not to um, accept it. The moon in the upright. So things have continuously, on both ends, have been revealed, have been um, confirmed over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. But what the Nine of Wands in the reverse is like, the way that you are perceiving it, it is what is causing the issue. Um, there, was a, there was a quote that I had read. It was something about, um, don't allow your... Don't allow the worst to become your reality. So because we have been focusing on what is happening here physically at the moment um, and not realizing what is happening behind the scenes, behind the scenes is what the soul, um, then we start to perceive things in certain ways. And then we start to shut down the communication between our higher self, our souls, and our 3D self. And in an essence, it's either both of you or one of you has really done this. Or one of you has done it because your person um, is deciding not to look at the, not to receive the signs. Or is interpreting the signs um, the wrong way. Sometimes are like, okay, Let's say, um, I used to have, this is, oh my God, I don't know how long ago. I would have this dream of being with, um, I'm, I hike a lot. I hike like a ton. Um, I would have this dream of hiking and seeing my DM at the same like forest with another girl. And I used to be like, so that's not my DM because he's with somebody else. Like, you know. And I kept on having the same dream over and over and over and over. And I'm like, what the heck? Like, why? Like, like, I get it. Like, he's not. But it wasn't that. My ego was in the way. So my ego was allowing me, because I couldn't see the other person's face. All I saw was another female that wasn't me. So what was happening was um, my ego was showing me him with someone else that wasn't me. So that I could continue on self-destructing and not healing and not anything because at that point in the journey, I'm not going to lie, it was all about wanting to be with my person in a certain way. So when I finally surrendered and I was like, you know what, I don't care what is being shown in my dream because that is not what I know, right? So then what happened was... Um, when I accepted what has been what had been revealed and it had been confirmed for me years prior, um, and I accepted it as entirely without really understanding what was going on physically at the time, then when I was able to see the person's face, the female's face, it was my own face. But it was me as my true self, living from my soul and not from my ego. So we always have to understand the dynamic when it comes to our ego and our soul. And some people's ego really, really um, take the lead in a lot of the things. Three of Cups. Isn't that beautiful? That's what I was talking about. So in my dreams, you know, and I'm... I'm like I said, I don't read them like other people do. But normally when people say three of cups, it's usually like a third party situation. But the third party situation was not really a third party. It was my DM, my ego, and my soul. Are some of you in that, in that area? And if so, then are you manifesting that here in reality? <clears throat> so quiet it's like you couldn't even tell that I have two dogs I think my oldest should be getting home soon okay two of pentacles balance is needed balance within each of you is needed at the moment um, 
So what is balance? Balance looks completely different to everybody. Uh, some people need to meditate more. Some people need to rest or sleep more. Some people need to be around people more. Some people need more quiet time. Some people need to ground more. Um, and then when we think about all of the different things the balancing can include, because it's not the same for everyone, then what does that mean for you? Some people meditate in order to ground. Some people dance. Some people um, go for a run. Some people just go out for a walk. So again, always tapping in to you. What is it that you need to do? You. Not what am I doing? What is Raquel doing? What is Divine Unos are doing? No, what do you need to do? You see? So tools, you need balance. You need this, you need that, but you don't have to do it my way. All right. Ace of Pentacles. That is both souls wanting to, like the way that I'm seeing is like both souls from each end wanting to push um, for um, union, whatever union looks like for you um, here on this earth. And again, that is going to be different for everybody. And the only reason why I'm saying that is because everybody, depending on where you are at, my right eye is twitching. Um, <laughs> perceptions, yeah. Um, depending on where you're at and depending on what you are allowing yourself to be fed, then depends on how things are going to, um, in an essence, manifest. So then the first two that we have that came out were the four of wands and the reverse. So, and then with the six of wands and the upright. So when we talk about wands, people are usually saying, you know, communication or um, Either communication in the 3D or communication in the spirit, however the hell you want to call it. To me, again, this goes, this the, this reading is leading more to like the one-to-one, -one, like the DF to DF, the DM to DM. And both of you literally um, wanting to communicate with that part of you that you feel that you are still not connected to. Um, and going from being completely shutting down the thoughts or the um, acceptance to rapidly both of you on each end going ahead and accepting um the truth now when we talk about um acceptance what what does that mean am i just accepting it like because i'm telling you to accept it or are you really allowing yourself to feel the acceptance of it um and then we have the knight of cups with the chariot and then the lovers. Now the chariot came out like this. Why did it come out like this? Some of you are still not clear on what self-love truly is are not clear on what this freaking journey is about so as long as you continue to do something for someone outside of you this will continue to flip flop flip flop flip flop why? Because as long as you're going after what you want um, for the mere reason of someone else um, or because you want to win or because you want someone to hold you or someone to kiss you or whatever, then your emotions are constantly always going to be in balance. And you're not going to be able, in my per my perception of things, my opinion, you're not going to be able to tell the difference when something is yours or something is your DM. So what's going to happen is whenever you feel something, you're going to spiral out of control every single time because you have not gotten to the point of self-love. Um, 
in the end game, this is what everybody wants. Lovers. Um, this has to be obtained within yourself first before it can be manifested with your person. Those of you that have been, um, whatever whatever it is that you're doing to um, get that self-love and give yourself that self-love and stay in that self-love, then what is coming towards you is the manifestation of that here in this world. Those of you that are still flip-flopping, then what you're being asked to do is to really go in and to really get into the self-love. <clears throat> I'm just going to pull one of my um, Angels and Ancestors um, Oracle cards. I'm not sure if I'm going to read the, the meaning or not. We'll see what card pulls out. This is just more like a guidance card. Tuta loco? You guys are cool if you can think I'm taking all those cards. We're already at 40 minutes. I ain't doing that. Um, we'll leave that later for the live. See, now I got an idea for the life. Because a lot of people have a lot of questions. A lot of um, people feel lost. And it's like, you know, we really need to we really need to learn to enjoy our own company. And we really need to learn to love ourselves to the point where Nothing really bothers you. Um, it's not the same as um, going on a rant and not giving a fuck about anybody or anything. Um, is knowing that when you see a person um, acting a certain way, you're not judging and you're not prejudging either, because you're not you're seeing past your soul, and you're you. It's not what I meant to say. You're seeing past your ego and you're seeing into their soul. So when you see into a person's soul, um, you start seeing the world completely different. Um, you see past the ego. You see past the pain. You see past the mask and the shields that people try to put up. Um, and in an essence, when they say or do certain things, it has no effect because if you're you yourself are not living from your ego and you are connected with your soul then their ego cannot hurt you their ego cannot like cannot penetrate something that they themselves have not achieved within themselves direction guardian choose your path guardian angel you are not alone and then arrow, surround yourself with protective energy. Um, when it comes to the surround yourself with protective energy, I'm not saying that anybody is under attack or anything like that. But it's more, you know, when it comes to knowing when to set boundaries with everyone. Um, because we tend to um, want to, what is it? What am I looking for? Direction guardian. We tend to want to believe that, page 96, that because we are loving unconditionally, that means that we allowed everybody to do as they please, and it's not like that. So the short message for the direct direction guardian, connect with your deepest desires, then choose the path that will make your heart and soul sing again. guardian angel you're not alone you're never alone if you, if you honestly think that you are alone um email me so i can give you my number so we can chit chat because <laughs> you're not alone um i have a couple of phone numbers so don't worry um <laughs> you're not alone you're never alone um do we have to um to a certain point experience what feeling alone is like yes because only through experience, experiences and only through feeling and knowing what the heartbreak of feeling alone really feels like can actually allow you, in an essence, to help others not feel that way or to be able to relate to people that feel that way. 
Um, so the guardian angel. Ms. Zena, mommy has like two more minutes, please. Um, watch for signs and reminders from your angels and loved ones that they are close by. Remember, they are working hard to guide you. And then the arrow. Surround yourself with protective energy. Sweetie, mommy, it needs you to shh. You've been so good the whole time, Zena. So, so good. You see the butter? Butter look quite quiet. You gotta be shh, 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 like butter, okay? My cousins make fun of me because I speak to them like they're little babies. They are my babies. Um, arrow, surround yourself with protective energy. Message, surround yourself with, the pos with positive people and experiences and environments that make you feel safe. Call on your angels, guides, and ancestors to bring you protection. And, you know, one of the, sim one of the simplest ways that um, always allows me to feel my best is taking a couple of minutes and i mean when i'm telling you um i can either sleep an entire day or i can take um like six or seven naps in a day and every time i wake up i wake up and i take a couple of minutes to just focus on my breath and i'm just like i'm alive like i'm grateful for being alive like thank you god um for allowing me to see another day for allowing me to rest another nap and just really getting into that gratefulness um feeling and that is all that i have for you guys this is way longer than what i wanted it to be um definitely will let you guys know if i decide to do a live later um well i'll probably have to put a bra on for that huh <laughs> just the thought of putting <sighs> oh god See, I'm ready for a nap now. Um, that's all I have for you guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.